So a little bit, I just want to talk about the spectrum of what we do, because one of the things I come in, it, it is we have developed a remarkable uh, healthcare system here. So for those of you who don't remember, we now have six hospitals, including Johns Hopkins Hospital and Bayview, in addition to Howard County, and in the DC market, Suburban and Sibley, and all children's hospital in Florida. We in addition to have several large ambulatory centers. We have one at White Marsh, one at Green Spring. We now have one in Bethesda and one in Odenton. In addition to those centers, we have um, a Johns Hopkins uh, Community Physicians, or JHCP. This is a large network of our community physicians and primary care physicians who are really all over the Washington, Baltimore area. Um, they have shown tremendous growth. They do really, really important work for us at Johns Hopkins Medicine, for, uh, offering both frontline primary and specialty care. Last year, they served 280,000 patients at more than 35 locations. It is a truly remarkable group who are uh, providing important care for our patients. So a little bit about how these centers are doing. Um, so these are the volumes of uh, in our ambulatory centers. So Green Spring um, uh, uh, saw uh, 270,000 patients last year, a truly remarkable number. White Marsh, 133. Odenton, 84,000. We just opened yesterday an expansion of Odenton, and we are also um, working on a suburban uh, hospital outpatient medical center in Bethesda. So these numbers, I think, demonstrate a trend that we're seeing in medicine. When you think of these numbers, Green Springs numbers, 20. White Marsh, 31%. Odenton, 36%. So tremendous growth in our ambulatory centers. When we look at our hospitals, we can see that, in fact, many of them are large. Hopkins Hospital it, uh, admissions last year were 46,000, Bayview 20,000, Old Children's almost 9,000, Howard County over 15, Suburban 14, and Sibley 10,000. These, so Hopkins Hospital had 5% more admissions uh, last year, but the rest were either flat or less than 5% or slightly decreased from the year before. I think this demonstrates where medicine is going, we're moving people out of the inpatient setting into the ambulatory setting for their care. 